Welcome back everyone. As you know of, today I'm going to be showing y'all on how to become a successful creator in Rec Room. And as you know, Rec Room is a free based platform in which you can make nearly anything you would like with your Maker Pen. If you don't really know what the Maker Pen is, it's essentially a building tool that you'll use to make maps, rooms, anything you want, power in your imagination. If you don't already know how to get to your Maker Pen, what I want you to do is go to your watch, backpack, Maker Pen. There we go. Quite a few tools that you can use on here. If you want to make a map that you use all the tools that you were provided, it is very hard to understand all the tools when you first start building, but I'll explain on how to get better with doing that later in the video. If you want to make your own room, if you don't know how to, um, you can go to get your template first. So to do that, you want to go to create. I'm going to go to um, create a new room right here. And then you can choose any one you want. All these custom templates for y'all. But if you want to start off with a just plain regular map, I would recommend going to this one, the Maker Room. See it right here. Basically, the Maker Room is just the basic um, room with nothing in it. There will be a little room that will spawn into, but all you got to do is delete it. Also, it is greatly advised by me that if you want to become a successful creator, that you take your time it is really beneficial i guarantee if you take your time on a map it will do way better than just rushing just take your time don't get too rushed and you'll be good also note you may also find yourself really bored when building but i'd recommend taking breaks go get a drink of water get something to eat and now to the idea of design a personal opinion from me is to be consistent. It is very, very important to be consistent with your color design, with your building. You want a pattern in your room. You just don't want a whole bunch of colors everywhere, a whole bunch of different like shapes. Make it be different shapes, but it just can't look outrageous. Say as an example, you make a military in rec room. You would want to make sure that it's very clean, proficient, and you can do this by sticking between the same four to six colors throughout your whole military base. You could also use other textures. When you're building, you don't want to just have the regular default cardboard texture. You can access the color. Look right here. Recolor. You can have whatever color you want. See, I'm going to pick yellow. Do this. You see the texture of that? That is a good texture, I would say. If you're just going to use one texture through your whole map, that's not going to really be good. You want to make sure you use different textures. I'm going to show you the plain texture that you'll start out with. It's cardboard. Cardboard is a very, very basic texture i really don't recommend it i don't really know what you would use for cardboard for other than cardboard there's all sorts of t types of textures you can see right here material um take a little scroll down Oop. if you are unsure of what to use as of color and texture i'd recommend going to bigger games on rec room taking a look at those and getting insight on what you should use promise you it'll be so much better as i am a successful creator as myself as you can see i have the golden hoodie the golden glasses um the gloves and i also have a fanny pack these are all earned from getting tokens and cashing out on rec room you can also get these yourself but it takes time and effort i also feel that it's very important to differ your designs from other people's designs i don't mean like all the way different but you want to be different in a way that makes you stand out uh, that is very important that you are building something that you have interest in you want to make sure you build something that you like you don't want to build something that you don't like it's not going to be fun you're not going to enjoy it you're not going to have the the work ethic and the detail that you want to put in it there's multiple different categories in rec room when it comes to building such as role play game story and hangout i'd recommend to stay within those four game sections although you would want to make what you like in your room make sure that there's things for other people that they would like you really want to make sure people are hooked onto your game if you don't follow just that little step it could ruin all your chances also i want you to take your time you really want to make sure that you spend a good amount of time in your room your room should not be made in a day or two it should be made in about maybe a week a month depending on how much help you have just think about it like this if you could do it in one day that means everyone else could do it in one day and everyone would do it if you're unsure about the design that you have made, you get like a friend, you can get someone random and get someone to come in there and give an honest opinion 
If they do not like your builds or your designs, it is okay. You want to improve. After you do that, I would really advise to kick them or ban them. I'd recommend if someone's not helping you build, I'd recommend just to get them out of there. They distract you. It's going to take your time up and you're not going to like it. Now, this is the major factor on how to grow your map. You're not just going to be able to make a map and it's just to grow on itself. It's not going to happen. You guys have to actually put effort into growing it. You can do that by knowing that it is key. All right. It is key to be consistent. There are many ways to grow your map. There are a few very effective ways on how to do this. The first one would be spam inviting. Essentially, this means that you would spam invite a whole bunch of friends and all that stuff. I'd recommend is going to like rec centers, adding people from rec centers. Keep doing that over and over again. Switch instances, add all those people on the Now the next way, promoting. Another strong effective way to boost your room's popularity is promoting to friends over social media or on Discord too. If you join the Rec Room Discord server, they actually have a custom channel designed for promoting your game that you're able to just put the link in and people can come check it out. You want to give a good description of why to check it out and what it is about. Another big thing, it's time spent in there. When people come into a map, well your map in that case, you want to make sure that they spend enough time in there. The more time people spend in there, the more um, chance you would get on hot page. Now to do this, you can probably have like cloud variables, you can have a leaderboard for time spent, kills, deaths, but you want to make sure there's something for people to grind for. People strive to be the best in games. Another really great way to get people in your game is to get players to come back. You want to make sure that players are hooked and committed into playing your game, that they'll come back. It is important to know when becoming a popular creator that it can almost be a full-time job depending on what you're doing. Mostly this would only go for military owners depending on how committed they are. Now the last way to grow your game would be events. If you don't know how to start an event, I can actually show you. Here, go to the event page right here. Go to my events and create a new event. And then you put in all the details right here that you need, set date and all that. How to build your community. When you make a room in Rec Room, you really want to be consistent, all right? If you really want to do that, you want to be consistent, you want to make this a full-time job, possibly. You want to make a way for people to support you. By doing this, you can make a Discord server. You can make social medias, TikTok, uh, Reddit, uh, Twitch, uh, YouTube, depending on all of what you would like. Um, maybe the best one would be Discord and YouTube, and that's the best ways I would recommend on how to promote your game. Now, here's the last thing I was talking about in the first part of the video on how to get better with the Maker Pen. It's probably the best way you probably have to get better other than learning yourself. I learned myself. I've never went to a Maker Pen class. If you don't believe you're good enough at creating things in Rec Room or you feel that maybe you need a bit more learning when building stuff, there's actually a Maker Pen, I mean, yeah, Maker Pen classes on uh, Rec Room that you're able to get, attend to. They mostly start on weekends. And to do this, to get to these Maker Pen classes, you must have Discord, at least from what I know. And if you go to the uh, Reckham official uh, Discord, you'll be able to find Maker Pen classes. There's tons of different Maker Pen classes for people to use. There's tons of different ones, depending on what you would like. So that's it all I have today on how to become a successful creator. I hope this really helps y'all. Bye.